Okay, so what we're going to be working on the next couple of days are word problems that involve polynomials. So one of the most important things is being able to understand the word problem, try, being able to understand what are they asking. All right, so there's this like little setup over here on the side. Uh, it says buck, okay, right here. So it says it only takes a buck to solve a word problem. All right, so the B stands for box the questions that must be answered after you read the question fully from beginning to end. So how, when you see a word problem, I want you to read the word problem entirely, beginning to end. And then I want you to go back and start looking for what questions you have to answer. All right, you need to understand what the problem is looking for and underline keywords, phrases. If you can, draw yourself a picture. Create the appropriate equation needed to solve and calculate the solution. Knock out any unreasonable or inappropriate solutions and be able to explain why or how they are. So for unreasonable or inappropriate solutions, so if we're talking about a real world, usually a real world would not involve a negative answer. That would be inappropriate or unreasonable. All right, so let's take a look at what the example says here. Okay, so we have here an object is launched from a platform whose height h of t modeled by the function h of t equals 58.8 plus 19.6t minus 4.9t squared. Determine how long it takes for the ball to reach 73.5 feet on the way down. At four seconds, John says the ball should be at 70 feet. Explain if John is correct. How long will it take to hit the ground? All right, so let's go back. It says, a ball is launched from a platform whose height is h of t. All right, so right away, I know that height is represented by h of t here, okay? And it's modeled by the function. So here we go. Here's my function, h of t, and then that equation. So remember, this over here represents my height, which is this equation over here. So remember, that's my y value. Determine how long it takes the ball to reach 73.5 feet on the way down. All right, so there's a question, so let's box it. All right, so I have one question right here that I'm going to have to answer. Determine how long it takes for the ball to reach 73.5 feet on the way down. So, and that's important information. I want to know how long it's going to take. At four seconds, so that's important. At four seconds, John says the ball should reach 70 feet. And that's important information. Explain if John is correct. There's another thing we're going to have to take care of. Explain. How long will it take the ball to reach the ground? To hit the ground, sorry. So here's another question that we have to do, which continues over to here. All right, so I had one question here. I have another question here I'm going to have to take care of, and then this one right here. So let's take a first look at the first one. Let's see what we have to do. It says, determine how long it takes for the ball to reach 73.5 feet on the way down. So first of all, I'm going to draw a picture. So, so an object is launched from a platform, so which means it's not starting on the ground, okay? It's starting like up here, okay? And I have a quadratic equation, which means it's going to go up and it's going to come back down, okay? And it's starting on a platform. That's why it did not start my parabola down here. It's starting on the platform. So I want to know how long it's going to reach 73.5 feet on the way down. So I want to know. So let's say here's 73.5 feet. Okay, that's my height. I want to know 73.5 feet on the way down, which means I want to find this point right here. So this is a height. Remember, height is h of t. So I want h of t 
to equal 73.5. Okay, so that's what you would have to do for the first one. All right, the next one. Uh, let's see, it says, at four seconds, John says the ball should be at 70 feet. Explain if John is correct. So, at four seconds, T is time. So, I want to know, I want to find, for number two, H of four. My time is four. At four seconds, is it going to equal 70 feet? That's a question. And then it says to explain. Explain means to use words. So you're going to have to see if this is true, h of 4 is equal to 70, and then you have to explain. All right, and then it says, how long will it take for the ball to hit the ground? So we want the ball, I want to know when is the ball now going to come up and then come back down over here, hit the ground. So I want to know when my height, my height is what number? I want to know, well, if it's hitting the ground, that means my height is equal to 0. So the last thing would be when h of t is equal to zero. Okay, so we are going to work on uh, just breaking down the problem tomorrow in class, and then the next day we'll actually work on solving all this. But it's really important that we know how to break down the problem first. All right, have a good night.